Hey, it's Angry Bill for Pre-Hospital Wisdom with a quick field trainer moment. Uh, one thing that I see from time to time, one thing that I'm even guilty of from time to time is going too fast, especially with a novice, uh, an EMT, or a student. All of us run a call generally the same way. We are concerned about the airway and breathing and the circulation, rate rhythm pressure. Make sure and check that video out below. Moving on, we do a secondary exam from head to toe. We ask questions, we ask all the questions, we ask the sample questions, we ask the OPQRST questions, but we may not ask it at the same speed and at the same rate and in the same order that a student or another novice would. To someone that's not experienced at watching that, it looks like you're skipping steps. It looks like instead of running this call A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you're running it A, D, G, H, Q and, and jumping through all the steps. So it's incumbent on us when we're instructing, when we're teaching, when we're mentoring to make sure and explain when you are actually hitting those steps. How, when you walk in and say, hi, I'm Bill, I'm with the paramedics, what's going on? And the patient talks to you, that, that, what that means for that patient's airway, uh, um, what that means for the patient's breathing. You've got to slow it down and either explain it or explain it after the call to make sure that they get it. Do you do that kind of thing? I hope so. Angry Bill for pre-hospital wisdom. Stay safe.